and work all night on the bit of scum. Daylight come as we wanna go home. Day, we say 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 day. Daylight come on, we wanna go home. And greetings and salutations to another one of of Evelyn O'Malley's His Word of the Week vocab. And the first one is secretary. I hate to do this, but I gotta make sure I get the word correct. I don't want to give you guys any false information, especially when it comes to vocabulary. I gotta admit that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Is when learning a new language or phrase or whatever. It's like, can't you teach us the real word? And the first word is anything in the sheets. Okay. First word is secretary or secretary. There we go, secretary. It's not like secretary where it's a longer word. Is secretary. Okay. And it means a member of a particular sect, especially an adherent of a religious body regarded as heretical or schismatic. Okay. So When you were discussing that, you could argue that. Hmm. Oh, I know what I could say. Baptists could be sectaries. A man who is a Baptist, you know, from the back, who is Baptist, could be a sectary of Christian. Of Christianity might believe it a little bit differently, but it's part of a sect of Christianity. Okay. I was originally going to go with Mormonism, but I decided to get a little bit more creative. Sorry for doing it on the spot there. Okay. Next word is, is and I must find the word again. Is Solitary, solitary, or yes, yeah, solitary. You might, you might, the he might be silent. Anyways, the meaning of this word is ancestor of heart and piano strings. Basically, the strings would go over a wooden, okay, over the frame of a wooden sounding. Right. So, you could say, hey, this phrase. In my family, it is customary, hey, for you to learn the solitary. Yeah, because our family, most of the time, they only have you learn to play the fiddle. <laughs> Anyways, next word is catchword. This one I kind of thought was ir kind of weird. A term I found interesting learning it, but the definition of the word is a word so often repeated that it is identified with a person or object. So, basically, you could say. Hater is a catchword. 
it is is a catchword for someone who has a dissenting opinion of something. So, oh, now keep that in mind next time someone calls me hater on this channel. I've been called that quite a bit. But, not of everything. Anyways. The next word is... is Orgulous. And I believe the phrase, I mean the word means, proud. Or haughty. Or proud and haughty, basically. Proud and haughty. Swelly. So, when you think of... Orgulous. Think, I found the speech to be orgulous. That's when he was talking about his sports team. When the main, you know, the quarterback was talking about his team. Or, better yet, it's a lot quicker and easier to say, I found the quarterback to be quite orgulous. That's, you know, stuck up, snooty, kind of a jerk. That stereotype you uh, good quarterbacks out there could take me in a second. <laughs> Uncomfortable laugh. Next is the word nectar. And it is a sweet liquid produced by the many flowering plants. It is used by bees to make honey. And I decided to go with a interesting phrase that, as you notice, might also be the title of this video. Huh? It is, the nectar tasted like soda. Yeah, I wonder where the bee got that from. Or, maybe, the beer truly is the nectar of the gods. <laughs> Anyways, see you next week. Hey, and, and please do not forget to follow me on my Tumblr, my Twitter. Uh, and have a great day. This is Evelyn O'Malley. Sign up.